Josh Sitton has signed a two-year deal with the Miami Dolphins, and quite personally, I like this move a lot. Um, I feel somebody said on Twitter the other day, like, well, you know who really needs a, a Browns-style blow-up is the Miami Dolphins. Um, you know, they just need to, you know, just strip down everything and start fresh, and I don't necessarily agree with that. Um, you still have Laramie Tunsil at left tackle. You have Jawan James at right tackle. Your guard position was a bit of a concern. I believe you have a rookie at right guard as well as Jeremy Jamon Bushrod. Actually, no, Jamon Bushrod isn't with the team anymore, I believe. I believe he's on the Saints now. And at center, you had Mike, Pen Mike Pouncey, but you released Mike Pouncey. And so really, your holes are at left guard and center. That's where I feel your your holes were on your offensive line and you get a pretty darn good guard in Josh Sitton probably the second or third best guard behind Andrew Norwell and Western Richburg in my opinion he was part of a very good interiors uh, Bears interior offensive line as many of you Bears fans pointed out to me and again thank you so much for that um, Josh Sitton apparently was part of a very not apparently he was a part of a, uh, a very good Bears interior offensive line who provided a very good run game um, for Jordan Howard, uh, Tariq Cohen, you know, got those guys going, you know, um, even Benny Cunningham, you know, got, got the Bears running backs going good, and uh, Josh Sitton was a big part of that. Now he's on to Miami, where he will be um, creating running lanes for Kenyon Drake, Damian Williams, um, among others. He'll be protecting Ryan Tannehill, um, and I, I think it was a very good move. Obviously, Josh Sitton is up there in age, but linemen are usually pretty reliable in terms of injuries. You know, you don't really see linemen getting injured that often, um, especially like the veteran-y type guys. They always usually seem to find a way to stay on the field. So I really like this move. It'll be interesting to see the running back competition between Damian Williams and Kenyon Drake. I honestly couldn't tell you who would win. I think both backs are very versatile and very good runners. If I had to give an edge... I guess I would give it to Kenyon Drake, but personally, I like Damian Williams a little bit more. Um, Damian Williams might be a little bit injury prone, but um, I just like the guy. I, honestly, I like both of them a lot, but um, I would give the edge to Kenyon Drake right now. So if you're moving forward with Kenyon Drake, I don't mind that running game at all, especially with Josh Shitton now. That's going to be very huge, getting that running game going. If you can get the running game going, you can get the passing game going as well. So it's it's a huge move. I like it a lot. Um, the Dolphins are making their offensive line better. If you have a pretty solid left tackle, you have a pretty solid left guard, you have a pretty solid right tackle, maybe, and you have a pretty decent right guard, four out of five starting offensive linemen that are good, that's not a bad situation at all. Now you might draft a center. Maybe you'll draft the kid from Ohio State who just recently got an injury, which is unfortunate, but I still feel the kid is one of the better. I think he was touted as being one of the better offensive linemen in this draft. Um, right right behind um, right behind Quentin Nelson. So if you can get somebody like that in the first round, maybe if you really want to risk it, which I could see the Dolphins risking it. Why not, you know? Um, to, he's, if the kid's going to be a good center, you need a center. Personally, I don't know if they should have released Mike uh, Mike Pouncey. That's kind of a tough call to make. Um, but they could bring in another center. You know, who knows? But I like this move again. I think it's going to create good opportunities for Kenyon Drake, which will also create good opportunities for Ryan Tannehill in the passing game as well. Um, as they have Devontae Parker, they have Kenny Stills, among others. Um, and again, uh, good move good, good move by the Dolphins. You know, maybe... Um, maybe uh you know maybe that maybe he can help out Laramie Tunso and the other guys the the other rookie the right guard rookie and like figure out how to be better run blockers and stuff like that you know teach these young kids how to do some stuff and uh just overall be a general help but yeah uh Dolphins fans go ahead and sound off in the comment section below and if you're new go ahead and subscribe did you like the move did you hate the move again let me know in the comment section below and for fans of other NFL teams I'm going to be trying covering all the moves all the major moves that your teams make throughout uh this free agency period and Bucks fans don't worry I'm going to be making uh videos for your team I'm going to be making Bucks fans don't worry I'm making Bucks videos for, I'm making Bucks videos, don't worry. Um, that's still going to be the majority of this. But yeah, hope you guys all enjoyed this video. And as always, I will see you in the next one. But until then, goodbye for now, guys. See ya.